That was 90. There you go, got it. 92.9. How hard were you throwing? Uh, when I came here the first camp, I hit 83 miles an hour. And then uh, came back home uh, for the rest of the summer, did my workouts, did all that, and went to school. In the fall, uh, this fall, I hit 91. Uh, and then the next week after that, I hit 93. Uh, so I've had a pretty good jump. So where is your velocity now? Like, what you, was it consistent 80, 80 89, uh, touch 92, uh, and 90, 92 once, and I feel uh, 90, 91 a lot. That's awesome. So you've gone from low 80s to low 90s. Yeah. And you're 17. So, so how much uh, velocity did you increase that into that spring season? Um, I went from 83, 84, touching 86 to 88 to 90, touching 92. So I would say overall six miles an hour. How harder were you throwing at that point? I'd say I probably gained at least five or six miles an hour already just in the two months I've been here. Well, why don't you tell everybody your numbers? So you came into the program throwing how hard? Um, I was topping out at 85, but I was living around 83, 82, 83, right around there. Cool, cool. And then, and then what? This fall, you've you've obviously had a great fall, and just the beginning. Tell us, uh, tell us where you're sitting this fall. All right. Um, this fall, my last outing, I was living around 90 to 91, and I topped out at 93. When you when you came to me when we started when you started with me when we started with the program, um, how hard were you throwing at that time? I was probably mid to upper seventies. Okay, good. And you you probably you really didn't even know what position you were going to be at. You were just really kind of a utility guy at the time. You you knew you wanted to pitch, right? But uh, I had no idea pitching was going to be my thing. I was always known that I could hit the ball. And had a decent arm, but I wasn't like set dead set on pitching. I was just trying to get my arm stronger. Right, and that and that was the, I think the exciting part because once we uh, started to see the velocity, then you really got excited about wanting to pitch. Um, so I, you know, after the program, after we went through the program, I guess when you went to all those showcases and all those good things started happening, how hard were you throwing in the sh showcases? About 86 to 88. Let's just talk about, like, when you first started with me, when we first met at Gorilla, right. and you and we started with the program, how hard, how hard were you throwing at that time? Uh, I was probably throwing maybe, you know, 72, 73, but I wasn't, okay. I wasn't throwing hard at all. Okay, and then and tell them, like, tell everybody, the uh, – what your high school career, baseball career was like? Well, actually, I never did play high school ball, so so I didn't really watch my high school career, but I tried out and I didn't make it. And, you know, I went out again my sophomore year and I still didn't make it. So after that, you know, I just I just put it on the on the back burner until, until I could find somebody who could help me, you know. Cool. And then... So, I mean, as far as, you know, after that experience, after being cut and not given a chance to even play high school baseball, what made you want to keep going? I mean, why, why didn't you just want to hang it up? Well, because, I mean, like, I have I've always been the type of guy who has always, you know, like, wanted to, you know, keep on playing and not just hang them, hang them up like, like the kids do. And you know my all-time dream goal is to is to you know play play minor league ball and hopefully you know play you know, pros. But so that's pretty much my my main goal. Why I didn't hang it up. Well, good. I mean, and I think that's why you stuck through with my program is because you, All right? Even though you know, even though that you you didn't get that opportunity, you, you know, most most guys. I mean, I'll tell you, most guys would have quit. I mean, when I tell. Huh. When I tell guys about you that come into the program and I tell them that, you know, you were a guy that didn't even play in high school and now you're playing in college, they, you know, it gives them a lot of hope. They all, they all perk up and they're like, wow, you know, you can actually do that. <laughs> but most guys don't understand that 
You know, this is a game. If, if you don't quit, you know, you can you can always find a place to play. You can always create an opportunity. Exactly. exactly. I Definitely. think what I mean, what allowed you, what allowed you to finally get back into baseball was, you know, when we started getting your velocity up. So after right. after training with the program, what would you say as far as how hard you were throwing? I was throwing uh, around 85. Before you came into that summer, or how about this? Before you came into the 3X programs, how, how hard were you throwing? Okay, before before I even found out about 3X was uh, my senior year. I was throwing, you know, low low 80s, topping out at maybe 83, 84, and I had sat there for for a couple years. This summer, cool. I had a workout with a college before I came to train with you, and I was 83 to 84, topping out at 85. So. Okay. And then after that summer, you just recently been in your fall season, and you, you played uh, it was like an inter squad game. Yeah, it was an inter squad. So tell tell us uh, about this game. Okay, it was my first outing of the fall. I you know I stole a few bullpens, done about four bullpens, and I came in through two innings. And uh, first inning, I came in. I, well, at first off, I. You know, I'd been throwing bullpens, but being in the game and being on the mound, it just felt everything was clicking. Everything I learned this summer was clicking, and uh, I felt so explosive, and it was so free and easy. And the first inning went three up, three down, and then I went back out to the second inning, and I struck out the side. And uh, after after the game, the pitchers had to do the charts, and they had the gun on us the whole time. And I was doing my chart, you know, calculating, tallying up my pitches, and I come to find out I was 86 to 87, and I actually hit 90. And it was one of the best moments of my life, honestly. So I, I bought it, and then I started the workouts, and then I kind of shied away from them for a while because um, I just my season was going on and everything, and I just, I don't know, I just couldn't get into it as much. And then in August, when I, when I knew I was going to school, and I was still at 83, 84 miles an hour, I just really looked at it again, and I went into it open mind and did exactly what the program said, and I did the med ball throws, and I did the power cleans and everything, Try to get, still trying to get my form down. And then last on Sunday of this week or whatever, um, I got to 90 miles an hour, and I just wish I would have started the program as religiously as I did two years ago.